What up, family? It's the next day again. It's your boy. I'm back out here again, man. Trying to get to it. Trying to get with it. You know what I mean? Um, just moving some stuff around the garage. Trying to organize all this stuff. I told y'all I'm getting rid of all these boxes and shit. Those just some boxes. Got them off the floor right now so I can move this car over to the middle. Let me show y'all. So y'all can see the car, there ain't much body work on this, a lot of scratches. But that's really for me, just putting stuff on it, walking past the car, scratching it, really not caring, because I know I'm getting it resprayed. But I'm gonna see if I can get there and clean this little stuff. I put some uh, paint thinner or something on it, remove all of the overspray off of there. Cause that make a huge difference. Like I told y'all, you know, real, real body work need to be done on here. It's a couple of little small dings and dents, but nothing major, though. Know. Just a lot of little light scratches, so we're going to take all this chrome off and uh, have them get to it. Like, see, it's a scratch right there from when I open it up, hit the wall. Um, scratch right there. I need this door hands adjusted, too, so they might have to adjust this door hands for me one way or another. And then there's a few scratches over here. I walked past it with a screwdriver in my pocket right here. That's what got all these scratches. And it's a little chip right there on the trunk, so. And all this stuff come from moving around, putting stuff on it and all that shit. It's got a lot of little scratches and chips on it, but I'm not tripping. So we gonna get it taken care of. Y'all can see it out in the sun now though. So this is how we gonna be coming. See them details, man? You gotta pay for that quality, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just test fit, you know it's coming back up out of here. It's coming back up out of here, man, but y'all gotta pay for that quality. Y'all see that quality? Look at them pillow seats, man. That can't be duplicated. That's quality, man. Quality, straight up. What's that? Yeah, so I got my boy out here. He gonna take this chrome, that trim piece off of me right there, y'all. That back one, he gonna get it. You can go ahead and get it. Should be two screws in there, son. So should be one in the front, one in the back. No, not that. That that one, that's one of them too, but it should be one in the bottom and one in the back part too. Or is it just, okay, so it's two. So get both of them and then I get the one out the front. Cause a lot of this stuff, you gotta take this trim off. You gotta. You got the last screw out? Oh, yep. Okay, good job. Good job, buddy. What you do with the screw? It's down there? Mm -hmm. There it go. Grab the screw. Yeah, grab the screw while you're twisting. It's already out. If you if it's already twisting, now we gotta get this last one out right here. Last screw, go ahead and get him out. Pressure. There you go. It wasn't tight. It's out though. Oh, grab that screw. Y'all see, I got all the stuff out, man. I'm gonna wipe all that out. They should have wiped it out for their paint, man, but this just so you can get paint everywhere, man. I think I'm gonna crack this too. I'm gonna hit these screws, loosen them up so I can put a little gap between there. And I do it in the back too. But other than that, everything else is off. Only thing I need them to take off, like I said, is these two on each door. So one, two, and then the other two on the other side. I'm taking my whole interior out. So I was test feeding, fitting the seats. They coming back out the car, of course. See how beautiful those is. We don't want no paint overspray on those. And there ain't no motor, so nobody need to drive it. So I'm taking all the seats out because it's going to be getting pushed anyway. So, oh, damn. Always cutting myself, man. Just cutting myself on this sharp ass door. These cars ain't no joke, man. These cars ain't no joke, but uh, got everything about the back too. Got the back lights out. This what dude should have did when he painted my car, man. He take all this out, man, so you can get the paint everywhere. So this time, like I said, we getting paint everywhere, man. All in the cracks and crevices, man. You know what I'm saying? We getting paint everywhere. I gotta take the mirrors off too, but we getting paint everywhere, man, so. 
we finna start doing the cleanup. I'm gonna pull it back in the garage and then uh, I'll take the interior out once I got it in the garage and the mirrors and stuff. So other than that, we good to go, man. We're ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. Back, we back, we back. Let me clean y'all off a little bit, boy. We back. I done stripped this thing down best I can. Let me show y'all what we looking like. Y'all can see. You already know the motor been on all that good shit, man. Uh, got everything, y'all know. This is my motor for the new subscribers. This is the motor that I got for this car. I built for this car right here. That's the motor. It's an LQ960. It's beautiful. Fresh out the box, damn near everything is new on it from the inside out. It's my gas tank, y'all. It's my new radiator fans. New radiators down there. That's the old radiator. Uh, my transmission is down there that I was supposed to be dropped off, so I guess I can go drop it off to him tomorrow so he can get started on it. Uh, but nonetheless, I pulled the carpet out. Car will be going off the paint within the next day or two, so y'all gotta stick around for that. It's gonna be in good hands, so we should have some good news. But y'all can see, floors is super solid in this car, man. This was one of the reasons why I wanted this car because I, I checked it out, man. I haven't wanted it for a while. It was super solid. It's hard to find a 35-year-old car that's in the Midwest that it made it through 35 winters without the floorboards rusting out. Them floors look like they've been brand new, don't they? Look at there, man. One little spot of rust up there. Nothing too bad, though. Everything else has been. Man, it's pretty clean, if you ask me. A lot of these wires, I guess they came from dude getting music cooked up in this car. But I'm taking all this shit out of here. I'm getting everything rewired as far as the, as far as the music side of everything. Everything else is wired up correctly. But as far as the music, I'm rewiring everything in this car. So we ain't got to worry about that. I'm going to take all his wiring out. I'm going to get it redone the professional way. That way we ain't got to worry about no fire hazards. And we still going to keep our fire extinguisher here just in case. Yeah, I know I had the engine bay painted already. So when I get it painted, all they gotta do is just paint the inside of the fenders and stuff. Like this part is still part of the fender. From here on down. See, that's all fender there. So they gonna paint that. I took all my interior out because I don't want my shit dusty or sprayed over. I'm finna put this uh, plastic over it too. Y'all see, I got my uh, painter's plastic for multiple, for multi-purpose use. So same plastic I got over the wheels and the motor. I'm finna cover all of my uh, interior pieces up so they'd be good to go. I might take them in the house, I don't know, but uh, put them in the basement or something. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, man, just wanted to show you all that. So I got all the lights out and stuff. Like I said, I could not get these off the bottom of the door. I didn't want to keep messing with them, so I just left them alone. They won that battle, but I ain't tripping. Let's see, man. But look, the floor is super solid, baby. Super solid, front to back. I see it. One little spot there. And that really ain't nothing but just a spot. You see? It's just a little spot. Ain't nothing. The floors look real good in here, man. And it's my first time seeing the floorboards with y'all. So, like I say, all of this shit right here, I'm getting zero gauge put in here. All this trash coming out of there, man. We're going to get this thing wired up real nice. Real nice. We already got the Dakota Digital in there. Y'all can see that. Back up, there you go. Coat of digital. Got the steering wheel. I got everything I need for this car, man. So we just ready to go get it painted and we can go on, move on to the next phase, man. So that's the carpet right there. The new carpet is right here in this box. It's blue carpet. See what it say up there. What does that say? 1977 Four Door Caprice is blue. So that's the carpet for it. So uh, yeah, we off the paint, man. We just, like I said, had to strip everything down that I could. Um, I need to get these mirrors off, actually. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I need to get these mirrors off of here. But ain't no power going through this car, so that's gonna be a hassle to move this window out the way to get to these screws, Let you see. Uh, yeah, I can still get to them, I guess. It's two screws. Y'all still should be able to get to them. I think I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and pull these mirrors off. Man. I'm going to pull everything off. Save me some money. You know what I'm saying? Save some money, man. I'm way over budget with this car because I'm doing it all over again. So y'all know my budget has been spent already, but 
we got to get it right, man. You know, and if I get the right vehicle, I might sell this car once it's done, but who knows? I'm going to enjoy it first, but I'm going to get it painted. I'll probably get rid of it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Rosie ain't going nowhere. I know that, but I'm just showing y'all now. So when y'all see it when it's done, y'all going to be like, okay. Y'all going to feel me when it's done, man. So take a good look at it now. This is going to be y'all last time seeing it this color. And uh, like I said, stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me see here. Okay. They might have to take that up or I'm going to take that out. But yeah. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see it, man. Y'all looking at it right with me. So yeah, like I said, y'all stay tuned, man. I think I got everything up out of here. Yep, so the tow truck then came already. We followed him out here to the uh, shop. So uh, y'all hold tight till we get there, man. Look, check it out, Slow. You see that? Yes, sir. Smell tank. Come here, boy. He got no supply. He started barking when you took it away, didn't he? Yeah, started barking and growling. Give me pull. He tried to bite. He don't do that, man. He's far rotten, though.